again. Um, I'm JPC, your uh, outlaw of college football, and this is the home of the Common Joe and Common Sun. No, you more so than all those media talking heads. Now, let's get right to it. Today, I want to talk about all these coaching jobs that are coming open. We, we've had numerous historical national championship uh, multiple national championship programs, coaching jobs come open. But the more these jobs come open, I've noticed the more these universities are locking down their current coaches to keep these universities and other universities from coming after their coach. Uh, more recently, we just seen it with James Franklin. He was just given a 10 year contract by Penn State. Um, and he's had a couple of not awful seasons, but not championship tier, let's give you a 10-year contract type seasons to me. And I was sort of down on Penn State at first when my podcast partner, Jonathan Lewis, told me about this. And I got to thinking about it. I'm like, you know, why are you down on these people for giving him a contract extension, JPC? We've been complaining and bitching about the fact that these universities are too quick to pull the trigger sometimes and they let go of these guys just for a couple of subpar years or a couple of years where they only lose four or five games, but they still have a winning season. Um, a la Gary Patterson, for example, at TCU, a legend at TCU, and they let him go because he had a couple of seasons where um, they just didn't think that he was going to get them to the promised land. And TCU and other programs need to be satisfied sometimes with a coach that's going to have a couple of seasons where he loses four or five ball games and barely gets them into a ball game, maybe even a losing season every now and then. It's going to happen. And uh, I was like, well, you can't have it both ways, JPC. Um, they went out and they decided, you know what, James Franklin – for all his quirkiness and all his um, extraordinarily bad um, press conferences that he has, he's had a lot of press conferences that, made him, uh, that he uh, really had a bad look about him. But for all that, they decided, you know what, we're going to lock him down, we're going to give him 10 years. The guy has gotten us to a bowl game every year and, well, not every year, but he's gotten us to a bowl game almost every year and he's even had us in contention for the conference championship many of his years here, and I think he won one conference title. So they decided, you know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna have some uh, we're gonna have some continuity here, and we're gonna give this guy ten years, and if it burns us, it burns us. We can come back and revisit this later. And so the pros to it are this: it is that you are you have shown the ability to be patient with your coach when he has maybe a couple of off seasons. It also helps with recruiting. The recruits see that. They see that you've invested in your coach and that he's not going anywhere and that they can trust that he will be there when they come to play for him. Although, like I said, sometimes there's wiggle room in these contracts and extensions. That's the pros. Now, the cons of this to me is, like I said before, is like you lock yourself down to this guy, you give him 10, year, 10 more years, and he ends up not panning out, and you have a huge buyout, sort of like Gus Malzahn with Auburn. And then you put yourself behind the eight ball financially, and you have to go out and get another subpar coach and another subpar coach, and you end up having a situation like you've had at Tennessee and at Texas for the past 10 to 15 years. So that's the cons of the whole situation. Um, that and James Franklin, like I said before, he's got some quirkiness about him and some shadiness to me that might be going on. Now, what I would have done if I was Penn State, just to show, hey, look, we're not going to be knee-jerk and fire this guy for a couple of um, subpar, well, not even subpar, but seasons where he lost maybe three to four to five ball games. So we're going to give him another extension to just so, show these recruits that we are patient and that um, this guy's going to be here for a while. And they could have given him a five-year contract and tried to maybe have a, a small buyout or no buyout at all. 
that's the middle ground for me. Don't give these coaches 10, 15 year con lifetime contracts and all this buyout money. Do like Texas A and M and uh maybe give the man a big contract, but don't have a buyout. And also the only thing with Texas AM is I wouldn't have went quite ten years. I don't think any coach out there is really worth a ten year contract. I think that it, no more than five or six years on an extension because you never know what's going to happen. Ten years is a long time to lock you down, lock yourself down to somebody. And that's all I got to say about that. You guys and guys tell me what you think, whether you think that this was a good thing or a bad thing. Do you think uh, these uh, universities going out and locking their coaches down is a great move? Or uh, are they having a knee-jerk reaction and putting themselves possibly in a hole in the future? And with that, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams.